I just wanted to talk briefly about being in the broom closet. When I first started out, um, I thought that people who were in the broom closet for a long period of time were kind of cowardly, I guess. Um, and I still like to tell myself that, but I know it's not true at all, because I've been in the broom cupboard since I was, I guess, 14 years old. I started studying when I was 12, but I started practicing when I was about 14 and 15 years old, and I'm 19 now. I'm going to be Um, and I still live with my mother. Um, being in the broom cupboard is not easy at all. It's actually really difficult. Um, so many Christians and, you know, Judeo-Christians talk about how they are afraid to tell their families that, they are Christian, or they're Jewish, or they're Muslim, or so on and so forth, because they know that their family will resent them for it, and try and save them. And I found out that it is exactly the same with witches, maybe even more so, because witchcraft in this day and age is very, very much frowned upon. Um, even people who are not Judeo-Christian or Muslim believe that witches are evil and they are devil worshippers and Satanists and they only do evil witchcraft and la da 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 And I used to believe that. I was brought up that pretty much. And when I started practicing, I found out that it's not true at all. It's actually, in most cases, it's the complete opposite. And people who started out as Wiccan and then moved on to something else. And so, now that I've been in the broom closet for about five or six years, it's been really really hard just even talking about it just like oh, it makes me like get all choked up about it because a person's spiritual beliefs are some of the only things that they can control in their life it's one of the only things they can really take a hold of and say that it's their own. So not being able to tell your family about what you believe and what you practice it's just really hard. I know some people will be like, oh, get over it, blah, 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 it's not that bad, you could be in a worse position. And I know that, I know that I have a really good life, I have an amazing family, I, the most amazing parents in the entire world. But when it comes to religion and spirituality, they were... Both of my parents were raised Christian, very hardcore Christian. Um, both of my grandfathers were pastors, were traveling pastors. My mother's parents were missionaries. Um, so they both grew up believing that anything 
but Christian is evil and bad, and if you're anything but a Christian, then you're worshiping the devil. And I'm not even exaggerating. That's what they grew up to believe, and they still believe that. So deviating from that in my family is pretty much saying that you worship the devil and you're going to hell and you're damned for all eternity and Jesus no longer loves you. So that's what I grew up hearing my whole life. And then I started to realize that I didn't believe that in any way, shape, or form. That I was in fact a witch. And even the word witch is one of the most evil words that a person could ever say. The term witch is like saying that you are basically a devil worshiper or a mistress of the devil or a demon. I know that my parents would love me even if they found out. But I also know that they would look down on me if they found out. And honestly, I really, I truly envy people, envy people my age who are allowed to practice their spirituality and their religion without fear of their family rejecting them. I see so many people on YouTube saying that their parents and their family members and their friends don't mind that they practice witchcraft and they don't and I don't know, I'm sorry. It's just so hard for me to talk about. I really do envy people who are brought up in non-religious homes. I know that a lot of people would say that that's a terrible thing to say, but honestly, in this day and age, I think it's a really the best way to raise children. Because everybody needs to find out their spiritual beliefs for themselves. So being raised in a very hardcore religious environment, um, it just really can scar a person for life. And that sounds so overly dramatic, but it's true. And so, so many of my friends on YouTube were raised in non-religious homes, and their parents don't you know, care or bother about what they practice. And it literally astounds me because I was raised in such an incredibly evangelical Christian home that I'm like, I can't believe there are actually people and parents out there that don't care what their kids practice or believe in. I remember that once a couple of years ago, I was in a discussion with my mom, and I told her that I wasn't a Christian. And she said that I made her sick, and she wanted to throw up. And I still remember that. And I was like, I was just thinking the whole time, like, I'm your child. It shouldn't matter what I believe or what religion I have. You should love me unconditionally. And I know that my parents love me. They'll always love me. I'll always be their daughter. But at the same time, they look down on me for what I believe. They think that 
I'm damned and that I worship the devil and that God and Jesus don't love me. So, I don't know. That's just my experience with being in the broom closet. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys because I had been thinking about it all day because I had been thinking about the altar that I have and how I wish I didn't have to hide it or make it inconspicuous because I live with my mother and she would absolutely split shit if she knew that I have an altar. So, yeah, this is just my vlog. I'm sorry it was so long, and I'm sorry I was, like, rambling, but that's just... That's just how I feel. And I know that a lot of people will think I'm being so incredibly over dramatic of making this, but this is honestly how I feel, and this is not an act in any way. So I just want to know how you guys feel about this. That'd be really awesome to get some comments on this. So I'll see you guys later. Blessed be.